Okay, this morning's video we're going to be talking about a couple new different types of tools. Uh, you've been using just turning tools up until now for turning and facing. So another operation that we have to do often is called grooving and similar to that is called cutoff. And there are different types of tools that we use for that. Uh, the tools you see in front of you right here, this is a, a grooving tool mounted up in a holder. You can see the tip of it. The end of it's square, and it's very, it allows you to go very deep into the part. Here's another grooving tool, just the tool holder itself, without the uh, the mounting tool for the lathe. Again, the end is square. And this one, all loaded up, is called a cutoff tool. The tool holder is right here. It's a special holder. Um, with a, with a flat tip. So a groove is something that you turn on the part. You can see it right here. It's an area where you don't just turn it to a shoulder, but you, you, you're driving the tool straight down in on the lathe. So some of them have square tips, some of them have rounded tips, but that's what a groove looks like. And a groove can be for different things. It could be just for clearance, for a thread or it might be to uh, install some hardware like a ring or something else like that. One thing you need to be uh, aware of is the width of the, the grooving tool. I'm going to measure this one first. The width of this one is 73,000, 73 and a half. So you'll notice when I pick up and measure a different one, different width to it. This one's 115 wide. So you always want to know, before you go and use a grooving tool, what the width of that groove is going to be, and make sure you have the right tool. This cutting tool, cutting off tool, is 119 thousandths wide. The reason that's important is that when you go to make a groove, you're going to touch the front of the tool to get your Z depth. And if your dimension is from here, Z0, to the edge over here, on this side, you've got to make sure you compensate for the thickness of it. So if this is a 115 thousandths tool, I've got to touch this off, call it 0, but then I've got to move it in on the Z and call it 0 again, so I get the right measurement from here to here. And then... Another important thing using a grooving tool or a cutoff tool is you only plunge in on the X when you're cutting. You never go side to side. That is not good. You'll end up breaking the tool and ruining your part. So once you have your tool set to the Z that you need it to be, whether it's for cutting off or for grooving, make sure you just plunge straight in on the X and then straight back out.